What's up guys, my name is Michael and today Apple just released iOS 14.2 to everyone. So if you have not updated yet, you can go into settings, general, tap on software update, and you can update right here either over the air or you can also do it using your computer. In this video, I want to go over 10 features that you can go and check out in the new software update, features that you can take advantage of once you update your phone. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a pretty big update, so I'm pretty excited. The first one is for AirPods. So I will connect my AirPods Pro to my iPhone here inside Bluetooth settings, and there is a new toggle now for AirPods users. So if I scroll down here, you can see we have optimized battery charging. So uh, this is already on the iPhone, but now it is being brought to the AirPods. Your iPhone is going to learn your usage habits of AirPods, and it's going to slow down charging until about 80% to prevent the battery in your AirPods from aging fast. As the battery inside these is pretty small and uh, they can age faster than say your iPhone battery, uh, this is definitely a good setting to have. I did do a whole separate one year later review of the AirPods Pro, so I'll have that linked at the top right corner right now. Make sure to go check that out. Number two is a new toggle inside Control Center. So Apple owns a company called Shazam, which can identify music. And there is a new toggle now inside Control Center that you can add. So if you turn on this Shazam toggle, your iPhone will actively be listening for audio in the background. And then I think within 30 seconds or a minute, if it doesn't detect anything playing, this will automatically get turned off. But if it does detect a song, it will tell you what song that is in terms of a notification up here. As you can see, it said no result because my, my voice is not a song. But obviously, if it detects music, it'll tell you right there in terms of a notification. So I'm not gonna play anything here on camera because of copyright, but when you do click this link, unfortunately, it doesn't take you to the link in Apple Music, it takes you to the link in the Shazam website. So that's the one thing I wish they would change, but it is really convenient to now have song recognition inside of Control Center. That way you don't have to ask Siri what song is playing. Next up, we have a revamped now playing screen inside Control Center. So uh, this update is full of changes in, in Control Center, and you'll see that throughout this whole video. But here inside the now playing screen, you can see we have a new UI. And then if we click on the AirPlay icon, I really love how smooth this animation is. Apple is so good with animations, and I can only think how good this would look if my iPhone had 120 hertz just like my iPad, that, that's a dream I have. But there is also a feature inside here where your iPhone will recommend different albums and different songs that you've listened to recently. I haven't been able to get it to work. I tried killing my music app in the background. I tried having it open. I tried playing songs. It just will not show the recommendations, but there are a couple other YouTubers and people who have used this update that are seeing these music recommendations inside Control Center. So tell me down below in the comments if you're getting this feature to work. The now playing screen has not been altered in the music app itself, but it has been altered on the lock screen. So I'll pull down here. You can see that Apple has tweaked the controls a little bit. So the grabber for the volume looks like it is a lot bigger. And also the album art is a little bit bigger. So before this update, the play pause and the skip buttons were mainly dominant inside this widget. They took up the most space, but now it looks like the info for the song and the album art is taking up most of this widget. So it looks like it's a little bit of a visual tweak there and I like this change. Okay, so let's pause this Metallica. Let's say you have a headache now because your ears were being blasted with this awesome music for too long. Well, there is now a new setting inside of sounds and haptics. If you click on this, there is a new headphone safety option. So your iPhone can now tell you if you are being exposed to noises that are too loud and could potentially damage your hearing. So there are a few options you can turn on here. You can turn on headphone notifications, and obviously this is going to be more accurate if you have a pair of AirPods. And then you can also turn on reduce loud sounds, which is going to analyze the sounds that are coming out of your AirPods and hopefully reduce those uh, loud frequencies and sounds that could damage your hearing. For the next change, we're gonna stay inside settings, but we're gonna scroll down to wallpapers. So finally, Apple has added new wallpapers in an iOS update. I think it's been maybe since iOS 12, since Apple added new fresh wallpapers to a golden master version of an iOS update. It's taken so long for Apple to add these wallpapers and I'm not even a fan of really half of them. So uh, we have about four of them here that are in the desert and we have daytime and nighttime versions of those. I'll show a couple daytime versions and then I will switch into night mode here or dark mode. Where's the toggle right there? And then you can see the different nighttime versions. I honestly like the dark mode versions of these wallpapers a little bit better but I prefer the light mode versions of these hand-drawn wallpapers a little bit better. So I'll show you these. I think out of these four, this one might be my favorite, just of the coastline. 
and then this one is pretty nice as well. So when you update, you can pick through these different wallpapers. Apple has added a few. I do like this, and Apple, I think, is adding these also to the latest update to Mac OS Big Sur. So for the first time in a little while, we are actually seeing some wallpaper continuity between Apple devices. But I do like that Apple is once again adding new fresh wallpapers to their devices. Tell me in the comments below your thoughts on these. So this update also brings new emojis with the new update to the Unicode this year. So they're always adding new emojis every year. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them. You can go through the keyboard and try to find some new ones. Uh, my favorites include the plunger, the little emoji guy with the fake mustache, and the hands that kind of look like an Italian guy talking. So I zoomed in on those. These ones are my favorite. You can poke through the keyboard and uh, look at all the different emojis. Apple always does a really good job at these. This next one is also inside of Control Center, and Apple has added a new feature into the Magnifier app. So this is really cool. I really like how far Apple goes with accessibility and making sure everyone can use their devices. So if you have one of the new iPhone 12 Pros, and I think maybe the new iPad Pro with a LiDAR scanner right here on the back, you can use that LiDAR scanner for a new feature that Apple calls people detection. So you can see there, I turn it on, it says people detection on, it takes you into this new interface, and right now the LiDAR scanner is shooting out a whole bunch of uh, dots, and I think it can come through on the camera. Uh, tell me down below if you can see my LiDAR scanner working. But uh, you go into this new interface and if it detects people, it'll tell you how far away that person is from you. So this is really good uh, for people who have vision problems and Apple really goes far and they take the extra step to make sure that people uh, with disabilities and people that need accessibility features really have those available. So this is a really cool feature and it's highly appreciated. So next are just a few tiny little tweaks in the UI. Uh, for the Apple Watch app, we now have a slightly new icon that doesn't show a clasp just because of that new solo loop that stretches and goes over your wrist. So Apple is now showcasing that new band in the Watch app, so a very small tweak there. In the Home application, there is a new icon here at the bottom for Home, so it's a little more rounded now and a little more friendly looking. And we also have a new tab here in the Home app called Discover, and you can click on this, and uh, there's various recommendations to set up your smart home. And if you have a HomePod, this update, iOS 14.2, allows you to connect that HomePod to an Apple TV 4K to let you use as Dolby Atmos surround sound speakers. So this is a really huge feature that we're seeing in an iOS update. So if you have a HomePod, uh, definitely take advantage of that and connect it to your Apple TV. And finally, this update, iOS 14.2, brings support for Apple's new leather sleeve, which we're hearing now is going to be pushed back until 2021, which is unfortunate, but Apple has added the software support inside this iOS version to support that new uh, clock always on display through the leather sleeve, which is pretty cool. And also we do have software support now for the intercom feature with the HomePod, which Apple released uh, about a month ago. So you can now use that with the original HomePod as well with the software update. And that is about it for iOS 14.2. As you can see, all those features were pretty big and uh, clumped together. It makes for a really huge iOS update, as well as all the security features and stability improvements. This update is a really big update so far. Now, those of you who might still be having bugs, I would recommend staying on iOS 14.1. There may be a bug release, iOS 14.2.1, coming out here very soon, as some people are saying that it is not that stable. So uh, you might want to hold off on updating if you are very finicky about bugs on your iPhone. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, drop a like on it. And also, if you're not subscribed already, which YouTube tells me a big portion of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when the new iOS update comes out. Anyway, that does it for me. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next video.